guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So I never do any monthly favorites throughout the year, but I did want to do a yearly favorites video for you guys because one, I have a ton of favorites and a lot of really amazing products to share with you guys. Two, these videos are very, very requested. And three, I have a new lens, which I desperately wanted to try out. So this is more of like an excuse to try it out and see how it looks and see how you guys like it. So make sure to let me know in the comments down below how you like how my videos look from this video on. Anyways, like I said, I have a lot of favorites to show you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a bunch of food, fashion, beauty, random music, TV favorites, which I'm sure you guys will love, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Since this is a beauty channel, I'm gonna start off with my beauty favorites. So I'm gonna start off with face favorites, I guess. So the first product I want to show you guys is this Primetime BB Primer Cream by Bare Minerals. So I got this at Generation Beauty when I went last year and I did not expect myself to fall in love as much as I did with this product. It's kind of a BB Primer Cream 2-in-1 kind of product, but I use it in place of foundation every single day, almost every single day during the past year. And it has SPF protection and you guys know how important that is to me. It doesn't clog my pores, it doesn't make me break out, and it lasts for a really long time. I've had this since May and it's almost now running out which is kind of gross, but I did use it almost every day and it lasted a really long time. So if you guys are looking for a new BB cream, very lightweight, protective product to use under your powder or under your like powder foundation, then this is totally the way to go. I definitely recommend this product. The only thing I would say is that it has a kind of weird smell when you first put it on your face, but it totally goes away within the first like 30 seconds to a minute. So I definitely recommend this. If you guys are looking for a new like face product to try out, this is the way to go. So the next products that I want to show you are blush products and I chose my two favorite blushes that I've like used the most during this year, literally almost every single day so the first one I also got at Generation Beauty it's from Forever 21 actually it's from their premium cosmetics brand line they had like this new release last year of like premium cosmetics and this blush is in the color rose petal and I've used this like crazy you guys and no lie it feels like a high-end product and it's actually really really affordable so it's a nice very wearable peach color for everyday use and it's really creamy it's really really blendable and it looks really really nice on the skin I'm actually wearing it along with like a highlighter today and I just I love how this blush looks and I had forgotten about it actually but I found it and I'm using it again but I literally use this almost every single day during the summer this year so if you guys are looking for an affordable like blush product definitely check these out they're really good quality so the next blush product that I have is actually a higher end product and it's by the brand Too Faced it's the Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush and this one is in the color Candy Glow I feel like a lot of people were obsessed with this a long time ago but I actually hopped on the bandwagon a little bit later so this is a very nice also daily wearable blush I feel like you also like amp it up for nighttime wear and it has a kind of built-in highlight at the same time so it makes your face look really aglow and really awake and it's really pretty so if you guys are looking for a new blush of like a higher end brand this is totally the way to go and I feel like I've said that about a lot of things anyways the next product that I want to show you is kind of a cheek tint blush-ish product as well. It's the Lolly Tint by Benefit. So this is one of their newest colors in their like cheek tint line. I know Benetint was like their original one and I was obsessed with Benetint. But then I decided to get a new color and I got this one. It's a really really pretty orchid candy color thing. And I actually have some on my hand because I lost the footage that I had filmed earlier. Anyways, I'll swatch it again just for you guys. This is what it looks and I just apply a few swipes to my cheeks and then I blend it out with my fingers and it's a really nice color for every day and sometimes when I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup I'd rather use like cheek tints instead of powder blushes because they're kind of they feel more natural overall so sometimes I don't even feel like wearing makeup and I'll just do my eyebrows and put this on my cheeks and on my lips and I'll be good to go so the next product I'm gonna use this as a kind of transition the next product is a lip product and this is called Lolly Balm it's also by Benefit and it kind of it's kind of a set with this. It's the same color except this is a lip balm. And I love this. Like I said, on days where I don't even want to wear makeup, I'll just wear these two products and I'll be good to go. It's a very, very natural looking pink. I feel like the best way I can describe this is that it's going to like make your lips an improved version of themselves. That probably doesn't even make sense, but it kind of enhances your natural lip color and makes it more pinkish, more girly, and it's really, really pretty. So if you guys want a lip balm that's actually worth your money from, like, high-end brands, 
This one is a really good one that I totally recommend with my eyes closed. So the next product in my little lip category in my beauty favorites is this Bugsome Lip Gloss. And this is one of their full-on lip polish glosses and it's in the color Dolly. This is by far one of the best lip glosses that I've tried in my entire life. So I have a few shades, but this is my favorite one. It's a very nude, daily very daily friendly lip gloss and it's not sticky at all it doesn't feel too crazy and it doesn't wear off very fast and my favorite part is the way it smells it's kind of a vanilla smell and it's also a plumping lip gloss but it doesn't smell like peppermint like a lot of plumping products do if that makes sense it smells like vanilla but then when you put it on you can totally feel that peppermint tingliness that makes your lips plump that was probably a really bad explanation anyways this is one of the best lip gloss products out there so if you guys are lip gloss lovers then you will totally love this anyways moving on to my next lip product and this is the last lip product that I have because like I said I chose my absolute favorite products of the entire year so this is one of the NYX soft matte lip creams and I have a lot of these in different colors but this is definitely my favorite one I feel like these products even though they're drugstore the quality is very very comparable to high-end products they're matte and they last a really long time and the applicator is actually really easy to use and they smell good. I have no complaints about these products so this is in the color... I can't tell you guys the color because it wore off. That's how much I use it but I think this is in the color Amsterdam and it's one of my favorite colors. It's a really vampy red and it lasts forever you guys. Once you apply this it totally feels like a high-end product. You can't even tell it's so cheap because it's really really affordable. Anyways, I'm going to move on to my next beauty product. So this product I also got at Generation Beauty and let me just say that I probably would have not picked it up on my own because it doesn't really, like it's not my style, you know, but then once I got it, I got it at Generation Beauty and I'm obsessed with these colors. This is definitely the palette that I've used the most, even out of my high-end ones. Like I use this palette so much during this year. Like my Naked palette is like in the bottom of my drawer because this has totally replaced it and it's really affordable. So I definitely recommend this palette and it's by NYX. Did I even say what palette it is? It's the NYX Swede palette. So I've been obsessed with this and I definitely, definitely recommend this palette if you're an eyeshadow lover and if you love drugstore brands, this is definitely the best drugstore palette out there. So two thumbs up for NYX. Okay, so moving on with my beauty products. I'm done with my makeup products. Now I'm going on to like skincare favorite. So my absolute number one favorite skincare product of this year would have to be the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. So I've had like five of the little tubes throughout this year until I finally decided to get this one like two weeks ago because it's a huge tub and I'm obsessed with this. Perfect as a hand cream, it's perfect on your face. It really, like I get eczema on my hands sometime when I use like really abrasive soaps. And this does a really, really good job of clearing it out in like literally hours. I feel like this is a really good multi-purpose product to have in your makeup items. And I totally recommend it to you guys because like I said, I use this a lot during this year. I bought a lot of these. It's actually kind of sad. Anyways, moving on, my next favorite and my last favorite beauty product is a perfume. And uh, it's the Chloe. I'm probably going to embarrass myself on camera. Is it Chloe? 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 I'm not French. This is really sad. Anyways, moving on. I got this one for Christmas, actually. I had a smaller little bottle and I used it up, but I'm obsessed with how this smells. I normally don't love like very floral scents, but once you smell this, it's like really, it's really hard to explain. It's kind of sweet and floral and powdery at the same time. It reminds me of France, even though I've never been to France, so I don't know what it would smell like in France, but I feel like I totally just followed it. I feel like if you went to France and you sat down in a cafe and a French woman walked by you, this is what she would smell like and that's pretty much everything I have to say other than I've been wearing this literally every single day of this past year. I actually lied. I have one more beauty favorite. I guess this counts as a beauty favorite. It's a hair product and this is a Nume curling iron. I have no idea. I'm really bad. See, I throw away my packaging and then I never know what my things are called. I think this is the half inch curling iron and I actually, this is a really funny story, I actually got this at Marshalls for like literally $20 and I feel like if you go on the Nume website, it's like really expensive. These are really good 
curling irons with like the best in the market, but they're really expensive. It's like $200 for a curling iron, and I totally got this for $20 at Marshalls. Marshalls is bae. Anyways, a lot of you guys have asked how I do my hair, and this is literally what I've been doing almost every single day of this year. I just let my hair air dry, and then I use this to curl my hair in like random directions. I My hair isn't curled right now, but it's usually what I do every single day, and they last forever. Like It's really hard because my hair is very bad for curling because the curls fall out literally in like minutes but this makes my curls last a very long time so if you guys want to see an updated hair care routine make sure to thumbs this up so i know you guys want to see it because i know a lot of people have asked for it so if you want to see it thumbs this up anyways moving on to my next favorite i think that's it for my beauty favorites so i'm going to move on to my fashion favorites i have two fashion favorites and it's things that i have been loving and wearing literally almost every day as well so the first one I totally just spit. That's so gross. I hope you guys can't see that on camera. Anyways, the first one is Healing Stone necklaces. And I'm trying to get them. Okay, so I've been obsessed with Healing Stones. I actually keep these in my room. I wanted to show you guys. These are usually like up there or maybe on my nightstand. And I just love Healing Stones. And I keep different ones for different things on my nightstand. And I feel like these are really good for meditating and really good for like keeping a positive vibe in your room and that's really important. So using that as a transition, I kind of have been loving wearing healing stones on necklaces. So this first one that I want to show you guys is actually from the brand Gypsy Warrior and it is a quartz, a clear quartz crystal on like a silver little chain and it's really really cute. And then I have a few more that I bought off Etsy. So these two are from Etsy and then this is a citrine stone on a gold chain and this I wore almost every single day up until the past month. It's crazy how much I wore this and then I also got this one from Etsy as well. I'm not sure what this stone is called but it's kind of a more delicate slice and I just loved wearing healing stones throughout this past year. And then my second fashion favorite, I'm sorry I'm like scratching my face because my hair is like in the way. Anyways, my second fashion favorite is wearing tank tops and then a bunch of cover-ups so a lot of kimonos a lot of flannels like really lightweight kimono sweaters and like this one i'm wearing right now so this one i'm wearing is actually from brandy melville and then these are a few of my favorites this one is from romway i actually showed this one in a video before i believe and then this flannel is one of my favorites it's from paxlin and it's by the brand Gypsy Warrior, and I believe I showed this in a haul once as well. And then I have a few others. So I have two kimonos from Brandy Melville. This one is kind of a sweater style kimono, and it's really lightweight and long. And I wore this a lot this year. Like, I'm not even kidding you how much I wore this. It's sad. You probably saw it in a video at least once or twice. So then this other kimono I have is also from Brandy Melville, and it's just floral and like muted tones and I wore this a lot over tank tops and really lightweight maybe t-shirt dresses so I was really really obsessed with wearing like a lightweight little shirt and then covering up with a chunky cover-up one of my favorite things to do for fashion this year so that's it for my fashion favorites now I guess I'm going to move on to my food favorites and I have three food favorites one of which I actually couldn't find because I ate it all anyways I'll talk about that later the first thing that I was obsessed with is dates. So if you guys have been following me on Twitter and Instagram throughout this past year, you know that I have been trying to eat healthy like a lot this year. I've been trying to eat healthy, eat clean, and kind of replace all my junk food with healthier versions. So I've been obsessed with dates lately because dates are a really good like substitute for sugar in smoothies or like recipes. They're really good for a bunch of things and they taste like straight up candy. If you guys just eat fresh dates, they taste like candy. I'm not even kidding. So these I actually bought online. I will include the link down below because these are definitely some of the most amazing dates I've had in my life and they're actually pretty affordable if you buy them in bulk. So I have loving dates for 2014. So then my next food favorite I actually ate and I don't have an example to show you guys but I will definitely insert a picture right here. They're called Matt's Munchies and they're kind of a healthy version of fruit snacks. It's like fruit by the foot, but like made with 100% real fruit. And they come in these amazing grown up friendly flavors. And I was just obsessed. I literally ate like 30 packages in like one month last year. I'm not even kidding. So if you guys are huge candy lovers and are trying to eat healthier, then definitely look for Matt's Munchies. I'll also include a link down below. Anyways, my next food favorite is crazy how much 
I realized that I had been missing, like when I saw this I was like, where have you been all my life? I'm really bad at explaining. Anyways, this is Tahing. I found this when I went to California last year in June for the first time. I went to LA and I fell in love. Anyways, I discovered Tahing, which is kind of a like Mexican seasoning that they put on literally everything. But I love how it tastes with like watermelon or mango, like putting Tahing on fruit is amazing. Anyways, tahini was my last food favorite and I guess I'm going to use that to move on to my next category of favorites and it's my random favorite. So my first favorite is visiting California. I feel like once I went to LA, I was like, this is where I belong. Why hadn't I gone there sooner in my life? Like I've wasted 20 years of my life not going to LA. I cannot wait to go back, hopefully next semester once I graduate college. But that's another topic. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to my next random favorite. So my next random favorite is actually a TV show, which I have loved. Like I'm just, I've never been as obsessed with a TV show or a movie as I am with this. And I'm talking about American Horror Story, the freak show season, which is the one that's currently playing. I'm just obsessed with every single character. I'm obsessed with the plot. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, just in case, excuse me, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, just in case you haven't seen it. But if you watch American Horror Story, let me know your like Twitter name or Instagram down below so we can talk about American Horror Story because I'm so obsessed. <sighs> I love it, so let me know if you watch so we can talk about it. Okay, I need to stop fangirling. Moving on to my last random favorite for this video. It is actually a CD and it's my absolute music favorite for the entire year, even though it came out kind of late. I'm talking about Taylor Swift's new album, which is 1989. I was so obsessed. Like, I've been a Swifty for the longest time since I was like 14, literally. I have loved Taylor Swift, but I feel like this album it's like I've grown up with her, you know what I'm saying? Like this album like changed my life. I'm not even kidding. I loved every single song. I love how Taylor has kind of evolved into a much more like mature person that only depends on herself for happiness and it just made me really happy. And I just, it's my, my jam. Every single song on that album is my jam. Anyways, that is it for my random favorites. And I feel like that's it for my favorites video. Those are all my favorites for this year. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also, in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite anything was for this year, whether it was your favorite snack, your favorite beauty product, favorite album or TV show or movie. Go ahead and let me know down below. Also, leave me your Twitter handles down below. I want to follow you and talk to you guys and just talk about life and fangirl about our favorite things. I feel like that's everything I have to say for this video. I send a million kisses your way, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well and you're having a really, really good day.